All right, so today we're going to go over how to download a mod directly from mod.io. Normally, as you'll see, whenever you try to download a game or a mod from uh, from this website, it tells you it must be done in game. So I'm going to click on um, this, and it says mods can only be downloaded in game by subscribing. Normally, that's the case. However, there is um, alternate methods using the REST API that is integrated into Mod.io. So if we go and look at the documentation, and let's say we want to go to Mods and get a very specific mod. So over here it says you'll need to know the game ID and the mod ID. So first what we have to do is do a get request to find all the games and then that'll tell us the ID of the game and then we plug the ID of the game in and once we find the mod ID we plug that in and then we can get the mod and the download link so what we'll also need is our API key so from one of the pages on Mod.io, if you click on your name, profile, API access, here's your API key. Now I'm going to change mine obviously since I'm showing it to you all, but you can copy this. And we're going to go over to PowerShell to use that to run the GET request. So there's a built-in commandlet called invoke REST method where it can go to a URL or a URI in this case and use its uh, REST API to, to do queries and such. So I already copied my API key and the game we're going to be doing today is Deep Rock Galactic. Can't spell Galactic. Okay. So as you saw in that first um, link whoops that first link for uh games so we've copied this right and all i've done is i've substituted your api key for my api key so it's using a variable which i've set and it, so it's gonna just so if i highlight this whoops So that's what it's seeing is this URL here. So first we're going to do, we're just going to run this. <clears throat> it gives us some information back. However, the data property is not easily read. So now what we have to do is expand this property. So we're going to expand that property. Now it's going to give us a list of all the games, but it's going to give us more than what we want. So it has all these different properties, but all we want is the name. Whoops. All we want is the name property and the ID property. So we're only going to select name and ID. So here's all the games that are currently on mod.io. And their corresponding IDs. So now what we want to do is the same thing except now we're going to further filter it by saying where the name is equal to Deep Rock Galactic. So as you can see Deep Rock Galactic the ID is 2475. So now that we have that ID for the game we can then go and find all the mods for it. So as you see game slash 2475 that's ID for Deep Rock and then it's going to list all the mods. So we're going to do this uh, rest method command and again the data field or data property is not easily read it's, it's jumbled so we need to further expand that property this will list all the mods for the game but again it also gives more properties than we want so all we want is the name whoops name and ID again so again, we're going to select name and ID. And then 
I like to just sort by name so it's in alphabetical order. Um, it defaults to ascending order, so it's going to start at A. Okay, so now let's say we want 60 nitro resupply pods, right? So you're just going to copy this ID right here. And now we're going to put that ID here. So it's further going to expand. So you have the game ID, then it's going into mods, and then it's specifying this specific mod. So we're going to run the first one. Now this gives us all the information for this mod, this specific mod. But if we want the download link, we need to open the mod file property. So again, we're going to expand that property. And now under download, here's the URL. So if we copy this URL right here, we go and try to open it, it'll download a zip. So that's how you do it.